This is an anatomy video to show you bony landmarks of the shoulder, the scapula area, and also some on the back as well to link with the other videos that I've done. So I'm going to draw all my bony landmarks in a black face paint. I find they do wipe off sometimes, <laughs> fingers crossed. So first thing we're going to do is find the spine of the scapula. Now I'll always have a client in a position where their arms are off the couch for this just makes the, the position of the scapula slightly easier to draw. So can you see me going over this ridge here? Okay, so that's the spine of the scapula. My client is quite broad, so this will be fairly big. So there's the spine of the scapula. If we follow the spine of the scapula round, you can see I'm sunk in there and I'm going over this ridge here at the shoulder. That is the acromion process and the acromion process goes to a bit of a square end like so so the acromion process and the spine and the scapula are the same bit of bone on the uh, scapula so we find it by working down and coming around the corner now i need to find the bottom point so the bottom point of the scapula is here so that's the inferior angle okay the bottom of the scapula there's an inferior angle and there's a superior angle, but because my client has got some big traps in the way, I can't physically palpate that angle, but I'm gonna draw it where it is, okay? And it will occur about there. So that would be the superior angle. We then have this medial border, the medial border of the scapula like so. And then we have a lateral border. So the lateral border is on this side. Then you also have where the ball and socket joint is. There's a, just under the acromion process, there's this socket. It's called the glenoid fossa. Um, and the lateral border comes up to that area here. Okay, so what I've drawn so far, we've got the acromion process, the spine and the scapula, the superior angle, the inferior angle, the medial border of the scapula, the lateral border, the scapula, the glenoid fossa, which is the socket. And if I just show you how that then works with the head of the humerus, get the head of the humerus here. So that would be the glenohumeral joint or the ball and socket joint of the shoulder. So that's really it for the scapula, but let's move on to some bits around the uh, spinous processes or particular spinous processes we can palpate. So at the top, or well, sorry, the bottom of the client's neck here, we've got one that protrudes a little bit more than the rest. It's quite easy to find when they're lying face down. So I'm just going to draw a line there. And that is C7. Okay, C7 is that one. Now, the next one that we should be able to find, um, this is for the level four course, we're going along the spine of the scapula. And if you extend that line, keep extending it, you will find a knobbly bit here, and that is the location of T3. So T3 you can find as an extension, if I draw the dotted line, as an extension from that spinous scapula. So T3 spinous process. Another way would be if you can find C7 like so, you should be able to find, I've got a T1 there, and I've got a T2 there. That takes me to T3. So you can either count down from C7 or you can use this as a, a way of finding. So that's T3. The inferior angle of the scapula, again, I'm gonna draw a dotted line just to show you, should take you to a spinous process in here called T7, thoracic seven. Another way to find thoracic seven would be to count down from T3, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we've got three there so far. Um, on the level four course, the next one we, we would need to do is L4. And L4, you would find from the top of the iliac crest, so the iliac crest is here, okay, top of the iliac crest, and if I draw that dotted line whoop, with the other end, that dotted line there will take you to this bony landmark here, and that is lumbar four. L4, if I can draw four, okay. So they're the four bony landmarks that you need for the spinous processes. Um, and then we've got the head of the humerus here, that's the greater tubercle, lateral border, medial border, superior angle, 
inferior angle spinous scapular acromion process um, all the brainy landmarks around the shoulder and the spinous processes just to show you what it looks like actually on a, a real skeleton here so exactly like i've drawn this is the opposite one to my clients but we've got come in and have a little look we've got spine and scapula so it was quite narrow then it goes to that square end the acromion process okay if we come over here we've got the superior angle and scapula and this indentation here is the supraspinous fossa so there is a muscle sat on there that we'll come to in the next video called the supraspinatus Underneath the spine and the scapula, we've got this indentation, the infraspinous fossa, okay? And then we've got that medial border. Medial border in level three sports massage, you've probably done techniques where you stretch out the rhomboids, holding onto that border there. The lateral border and the inferior angle here. And then we've got, got some ligaments on this one, but we've got the head of the humerus, which I've drawn there, ball and socket joint, and... Um, this bit would be the greater tubercle so that's what it looks like on the posterior view um, and compared to having skin on a real client